All right, so I was linked from Reddit uh, on the Gay Bros uh, subreddit, and the guy wrote a little bit about his experience, so I wanted to read that. It's uh, a couple minutes long. So, bros, I stumbled upon this uh, Grero, and I'm digging it so much that I want to share it before I even finish it. I think you will, too. From my own experience and the experiences I know about from other guys, gay, straight, bi, etc., I've always had a nagging feeling that male sexuality was much more fluid than our current dichotomy of straight versus gay. That's given, considering the Kinsey scale, but even among us gays, we have yet another spectrum that ranges from queens to bros and everything in between. I've always believed that each of our individual personalities are equally deserving of respect, and that's one of the common traits of this particular community I enjoy. Despite some negative publicity, I found guys on this subreddit to be mostly the type that acknowledges their own similarities, not trying to crown themselves as the elite of the LGBT community, but instead celebrating our own common interests as equally valuable to any aspect of our community. Most of you guys seem to truly enjoy the bond of other bros, but I think you'd quickly kick a bully's ass for messing with a queen or a trans kid or anyone else in our larger community. Having said that, we even have straight guys uh, who enjoy coming here. Uh, which makes sense because many of us have a, a lot of straight guy friends. As we gain more and more acceptance in society, it's kind of an honor to see that we do get a lot of respect from straight men. I can't count the times in recent months I've heard a straight guy say, it's really an ego boost for a gay guy to hit on me, even if I'm not able to reciprocate the attraction. <clears throat> yeah, right. I've always noticed a certain affection among men, regardless of sexuality or where they fall in the gender spectrum. From boys who curiously examine each other's bodies to teen guys who constantly joke and share sexual innuendo, and then after coming out and being shocked by the amount of married men or gay guys with girlfriends who enjoyed close relationships with me, sometimes sexual and sometimes not, but always a bond. Reading this page, uh, Grero, has been a real confirmation of the things I've noticed growing and learning as I have being a guy who had to severely hide his orientation, but found incredible acceptance from my mostly straight guy friends once I did come out at 27. I'm only about half done, uh, but I think the article is really hitting on some true points that our culture would love to hide. As men, even men who are more sexually attracted to women, I think the bond between us has been sacrificed by a patriarchal homophobic culture. I can only imagine a world where that bond, sexual or not, isn't shamed but celebrated, and where young adult men who experiment and learn about themselves and their own relationships to that bond and how their natural attractions work can do so without fear of being condemned. I can't help but think that so many issues we face as society, such as high divorce, race and, uh, high divorce rates and fatherless kids, LGBT teen suicide, and bullying, how dramatically we find ourselves better resolving those issues. I hope you get uh, the time to read this article, and I hope there's some good discussion about it. I think there's an element of truth to it, and that men in our culture are being shamed into repressing too much of what comes natural to us. Straight by gay, all of these labels are so inadequate when it comes to human emotion, attraction, and mostly love. And if this has been posted before, forgive me, as well as for the long-winded introduction. I'm really just enjoying the read. Well, thank you for the compliments, and uh, that's that.